Hi everyone, uh, a very very good afternoon to all of you and I hope you're all doing well and you know uh, today I thought I would specially come and talk to you about how to improve your score you know I've been getting a lot of messages where, where you're asking me that you're stuck at this score you are stuck at this number of correct questions or you know you are not doing as per your expectations and uh, you know uh, at this particular time this is what is at your mind you know how to improve my score and I thought that you know I would specially come and talk to you about what you should do in the remaining time right so we have about 50 55 days to go so what should we exactly do to ensure that from here on up till the NEET PG exam we are boosting our performance yes now the first very very important thing that I want to talk about is uh, whenever we talk about strategies to improve our performance especially close to the exam I would want you to understand that it is absolutely not possible for anybody to cover everything all over again yes so this is one of the things that you have to understand you have to keep it in your mind that it will not be possible to cover everything about all 19 subjects all over again so the first strategy that I want you to understand so that you are at peace with it and you don't have a fear of losing out is yes you have to be selective now absolutely important you have to know what exactly should you read in these uh, next 50 55 days to ensure that your number of correct questions is improving yes so that is the first and the most important thing the second thing that I want to stress upon is that now I would not recommend you people to anti-grade read your notes you know what do you understand by anti-grade reading of notes uh, I think you know if you just sit with your copy and you open it and you're reading it like a novel it really is not going to work now yes now is the time where you know how to actually go about your notes in a very very productive way to ensure that you are doing the most high yielding things close to the exam and this is where especially this year's DVT would absolutely come handy okay so the second thing I want to tell you is that whenever you want to revise a subject the best thing is Abhi when you are a little far away from the exams use this DVT this is a very crisp concise DVT we are doing this year very very high yielding and whatever topics these teachers have highlighted first you should sort of revise these particular topics from your class notes so don't start from page one of your class notes and try and go on to the last page so use this DVT to understand which topics should you first focus on so that is the second thing yes so first I said you have to know that you should be selective second I'm telling you ways and means how to go selective to improve your score the next important thing point number three yes to improve your score is grand test is something which is absolutely mandatory at this time and that is why you know you have to do some tests which are going to cover all 19 subjects in a go so each one of you have to practice grand test you can increase the frequency now start giving it at least once a week yes you can make the interval of once in seven to ten days as well I am actually not in favor of giving grand test every alternate day right because then I believe your entire focus is on giving the paper and most of you skip the very important part which is uh, the post test analysis so I would recommend you 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 know you try and do it once a week and in between the interval of two grand tests right it is very essential that you work on your post test analysis so a lot of you have been asking ma'am how do I improve my number of questions in the grand test so please understand if you feel you don't have the time to go through all the video solutions what I want you to do is uh, analysis which should be subject wise and you should write the number of incorrect questions yes and there you can actually take a percentage for example you know uh, medicine may obviously have more number of incorrect because the total number of questions is more but what you can do is take out a percentage for example let's say in radio if you have done three questions out of five wrong then this is not bearable okay so take out a percentage and see your bottom five subjects so now since we are close to the exam 
I want you to focus on your bottom five subjects as a mandatory thing between two grand tests. So I said, give them at an interval of seven days. And if you are a brighter si ch you know, child who's been doing well, you can give it at an interval of uh, you know, three days as well. And if you feel no, you want more revisions, then you can make the interval of 10 days as well. So seven days is an average gap. Uh, a little uh, more frequent could be once in three days and a little less could be once in 10 days. Yes. And between two grand tests, at least, you know, do an analysis, see your bottom five subjects where I want you to write down the topics that you have done wrong. Yes. And I've already clarified that this list that you make has to be a very, very precise list. Please don't write, I did cardiovascular system wrong. No, then you will not be able to improve your score. If you really have to improve your score, see what exactly in the cardiovascular system have you done wrong. What, you know, so it has to be a very precise note down. So make this list subject wise. Between two grand tests, at least focus on your bottom five, that is mandatory. Yes, and make this little diary, this diary that you're going to make now, even if you have not made it so far, but if you make it now, I swear you would definitely improve your score. Okay, so grand test, which is a mixed bag of all 19 subjects is absolutely essential. Now, the next thing I want you to tell is that instead of, as I said, do not go anti-grade with your notes now. You have to read your notes. Absolutely, yes, there is no replacement of your handwritten notes. But what I want you to do is go in a selective way. So the next idea on how to make your revision selective is use your test papers. When we are making the test papers at DAMS, we, you know, we analyze last five years papers of NEET, of INICT and so on. And then we make a TND paper or your class test paper or your SWT paper. So you could actually use any of these test papers. So if you're a regular batch, you have a good class test paper and an SWT paper. If you're a TND batch, you have your TND paper, you have your SWT paper. So the next thing I want you to know is that you know we have approximately let's say 50 days i want you to divide it into two cycles of 25 days each okay so two cycles of 25 days one revision in one cycle and the second revision in the other cycle now once you know that you have to revise in 25 days you will have to make a split up so let's say for your bigger subjects like surgery or medicine you know you want to spend three or four days but exactly how you go about in those three days to revise your medicine or surgery, which, which are, you know, super vast. So this is where before you decide, okay, next three days is going to be surgery. What I want you to do is first open your class test paper or your TND paper, whichever you're enrolled in and as well as your SWT paper. The class test and TND papers give you the recent trend right what has been the trend in the last one or two year of the exams to be very precise last one year while the swt paper actually covers the trend over the last three four years so keep both the papers go through them i'm not saying you go through the video solutions also or anything like that no what i am saying re-attempt your class test paper or your tnd paper and an swt paper attempt it like a test which means you time yourself you mark, you see what you have done wrong. And again, this is subject wise. So grand test was a compilation of 19 subjects. Here, what I want you to do is once you, once you have, uh, you know, attempted the class test or a TND paper or an SWT paper, I again want you to do an analysis, right? So I am requesting each one of you don't start from the first page of your notes. If you want to revise a subject first, attempt your paper again. It is absolutely okay to do it again. You are not doing it to look for your score, so don't get scared. You're not doing it to see your position or you're not competing with anyone. This is for your own self to have an insight. Now, once you have attempted, let's say, the surgery paper and you've made a list of, let's say, 15 topics that you did wrong when you were doing the class test or the SWT paper, now, these are the 15 topics that I want you to actually start with. So don't start with the first page of your notes. First, go through these topics that you have done wrong and then go through the remaining part of the notes. Yes. 
So please understand, as I said, these papers will give you a good insight on the trend, on difficult, uh, different levels of questions. So they will have all levels of MCQs. They will have some clinical questions, they'll have image-based questions, they will have some very easy questions, while they will have some on the tougher side as well. So it is a mixed preparation and it will get you ready for all patterns. It doesn't matter whether the paper will be very easy or will it be very tough. Yes? So this was the next level. So first was understanding that we have to do selective study. Second was doing the grand test and doing the analysis. I've told you the frequency. I want you to work on bottom five. The next thing I said is doing a retrograde revision by giving tests where you can utilize any of these test papers. Right? For example, even if you are a fast track student, the fast track TND papers are excellent. So just use those and do a retrograde revision. Yes. Now, the next important thing is CBT. Now, there are there is one CBT which was held yesterday and there are two more to come. Yes. So we have kept two more CBTs in the month of February. One is going to be on 5th and the other is on the 15th or 16th. I would request each one of you to give those computer based tests and preferably try and give it at a center. See, in the, on the exam day, it's not just your preparation which makes a difference, right? So on the exam day, it is a lot about mindset. So your mindset has to be ready for the exam. You should not get overwhelmed. Uh, it should be okay if you come across certain errors. For example, a key on the computer is not working or the light was inadequate or, you know, so real simulation so that you can, you can handle your anxiety in, on the exam day and it should not affect your performance. Right. And also people who could not give, yes, uh, you know, the CBT that we did recently, uh, we would make the CBT available on the app as well. So you can subscribe it on the app. Obviously, you will not get a ranking, but yes, you will get your own particular number of correct questions, your own analysis as well with video discussions. OK, now a lot of you bachas have been asking me that what should be the number of correct questions or what should be my marks? Now, please understand when it comes to the grand test or CBTs, especially now when you're close to the exams, I don't want you to get too bothered about your marks. Okay, please don't think that this is uh, something which is going to uh, get you uh, underconfident. So absolutely not. Understand that you're doing this just to know where should you focus your energy. So target number of correct questions and your number of correct questions should improve. Yes. And um, what should be the number? So I would say definitely try and cross 140. Okay. And if you really want to be in the top scores, try and cross 150 correct. Yes. So um, top scores 150 correct. Uh, average, if you want to be in the safe zone, I want you to do 140 correct. Uh, also, please remember this is keeping in view that if the paper is of a moderate level, it if it becomes easier, then obviously you would need more number of correct questions even for a safe zone. If it becomes more difficult, then obviously the number of correct questions for the safe zone will also decrease. But on average, try and reach 140 correct. Yes. And if you want to be in the top ranks, try and target 150 correct. Okay. Analysis of the CBT is absolutely essential. The CBTs come with video discussions. Again, if you feel you don't have time, which should not be the case because we've made very crisp discussions. Also, the discussions not just tell you the answer, they tell you the approach. So a lot of times when you see the question and the result, aapko lagta hai ki, you know, this is something I know, right? But when you listen to the video, you realize that the approach was completely different. Okay, so go through the video discussion, especially of the CBTs. They have been made uh, of a moderate level. We will not keep it very easy and we would not keep it very tough. We will keep the levels moderate so that each one of you is ready for the exam. Yes, so please understand that these papers are not your final exams. They are to, you know, get you into the mindset of a real exam so that you're not overwhelmed on the day of the exam. Yes. And please understand, forget about what happened yesterday. Forget about what is going to happen in the future. Yesterday has gone by. The future we know, do not know. What you have is today. And if you work to the best of your ability today, 
your tomorrow will definitely be better. You will feel more confident, you will do good, and you will realize that you have a lot more potential than you really think you have. So each one of you is very, very capable. I've been saying that repeatedly. You just have to have that faith. You just have to persist. Okay. And talking about uh, a little about, you know, silly mistakes, because that is something that I feel that each one of you feel that this is the reason why my score has gone down. So pehle, I would say, before you claim it to be a silly mistake, I know this is a hard fact, but I have to tell it to you at the right time. I would say a lot of times it is a defense mechanism that we think it is a silly mistake. So even if you think it was silly mistake, please go through the video discussion of that, of that particular question or that particular subject. A lot of times you will realize that it was not a silly mistake, it was a depth. So what happens is when the question is on a superficial level, you are able to answer it. But when the options get very close and you get confused between two options, that's where your depth of knowledge helps and it always helps, right? So I'm just going to repeat the points before we start today's session. You have to go selective. Do not think of doing all 19 subjects all over again. It's not humanly possible. Plan two revisions in these coming times, 25 day cycle each, okay? Divide your time of different subjects, okay? And when you want to revise a subject, go retrograde. Use your test paper first. It could be a TND paper, a fast track paper, a class test paper, a SWT paper. The second level is your grand test, which is a combination of all 19 subjects. I said the average frequency should be once a week. If you are on the brighter side and you're more confident, you can give it once in three days. If you are a little less confident, it's okay. It doesn't mean you can't improve. You can increase the frequency to once in 10 days because what I feel more important than giving the test is, you know, your post test workout. So analysis and then working on your weak zones. And finally, do give the CBTs, try and mimic the exam environment. And lastly, uh, I would say cut down on your connections at this time. The only connections that you need at this time are your real true connections. Talk to your parents, talk to those friends who you know are, are for you and they tell you, you know, they, they tell you to rise. Okay, we, we don't need people who tell us uh, all the time how worthless we are and how unfortunate we are or how we don't get things what we deserve. So let's let's get out of the complaining mode. Let's get on to the positive mode. I want each one of you to tell yourself that I can do it, I will do it and I have it in me. Yes, can you all repeat with me? I can do it, I will do it and I have it in me. So you have to travel this journey from can to I will to I have. And once you have, we are waiting for you on the other side for an interview. I wish you all the very best. We will keep coming live more and more to talk to all of you to allay your anxiety. But I'm sure, uh, you know, with all your hard work, with all your efforts, you're on the right track. Just have faith. Just persist. Okay. Achaz.